Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding an equation of a straight line given two points. So we've got a line, it goes through the points 3, 9 and 5, 13 and we want to find the equation of a line that goes through those two points. Now I'm going to write out the steps first and then we're going to follow those steps. So step one is determine the gradient of your line using, and we explore this in another video, change in y over change in x. So do you remember that the triangle just means change in and the gradient is m. So we find the gradient using change in y over change in x, which we'll do in a second. And then step two is to substitute the gradient and one of the points, we're going to choose one of the points, into y equals mx per c, because we explored in a previous video that y equals mx per c is a general equation of a straight line, and that will enable us to find c. So, let's do it with these points. We want to find the gradient first. So the gradient m is equal to the change in y. Well, let's look, going from this point to this point, what's the change in the y value? Remember, the first value is the x, the second value is the y. Well, what's the y value changing by? We're going from 9 to 13, so it's going up by 4. So the change in y is positive 4. And then we divide that by the change in x. What's the x value changing by? Well, the x value is increasing by 2, so you put positive 2. If it was going down, then it would be a negative number. But 4 divided by 2 is 2, so we now know the gradient of our line is 2. And we explored in a previous video that if we had the gradient of the line and we had a point on the line, then we know how to find the equation. We're just going to substitute everything into y equals mx plus c to find out what c is. So, let's write out y equals mx plus c and then substitute everything we know into it. So, we have to choose one of these two points. It doesn't matter which, you'll get the same answer. I'm just going to choose the 3, 9 because it's smaller numbers. So, if we substitute the 3, 9 and the gradient of 2 into this equation, we have y is 9. So, 9 equals mx, so m, which is 2, times by x, which is 3, plus c. Well, 9 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6, plus c. And 6 plus what is 9? Well, it's clearly 3. And now we've worked out the y-intercept and we've worked out the gradient. We've got everything we need to put into y equals mx plus c, the equation of the line. So we've got y is equal to mx, so 2x plus c plus 3. And that is the equation of our straight line. That's the final answer.